Have you ever wondered if there are certain steps that I network provider take before advertising their businesses? Hi everyone. My name is Priscilla Jesto from Yakintayo, a founder level law student of Boeing University and an undergraduate intern at Halle. Today I'll be talking about the National Nigerian Commission Communication Commission guideline on advertisement and promotion. And in today's lecture, you will get to know the guideline on the advertisement and promotion. And you also get to know the, the Nigeria Communication Guidelines and what it entails. The Nigeria Communication Commission, it is an independent regulatory authority that's for the telecommunication industry of Nigeria. It was established on that degree number 75 by the federal military government on 24th of November 1992 and commenced fully in the year 2000. The functions of this guideline can be seen in section 4 of the NCC 2003. The, guide, the NCC is supervised by the Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, and the NCC has the power to make two rules, that is the regulation and the guideline. What is the NCC guideline? The NCC guideline is made to encourage investment, innovation, and expansion in the industry. It is also the set of rules that governs the functioning and the development of the telecommunication industry in Nigeria. Some of the guidelines have Guideline on SIM replacement, guideline on provision of internet services, guideline on dispute resolution in the telecommunication industry, guideline on advertisement and promotion, and so on. I'll be talking specifically about the guideline on advertisement and promotion. This was made to protect consumers and also to ensure ethical marketing and um, promotion standards by the licensee. Now, let us move into the guideline that is provided. The first important step to take is to register your is to write a written notice to the NCC that you are within seven days that you are about to publish an advertisement. That means if I want to publish an advertisement on Saturday, I have to write to the NCC the, this Saturday that the next coming Saturday I am writing, I'm publishing an advertisement. And during this time, you have to submit a detailed report that contains the, the, let, um, the slogan, the price, and what the internet service is about. And also, during this time, you have to also provide your target audience. It is important to know that for the promotion of a product, you have to, after the approval, you have to submit, you have to register your approval to the Consumer Protection Council within three days of the approval. The, the guideline provides the platforms where you can do your advertisement and promotion. And this, you can only advertise your product only on print, mail, text messages, email, licensee website, and radio. It is important to note that a licensee must communicate all the price of the product and must have no hidden price anywhere. That means your 5,000 on the advertisement is the 5,000 that you sell to the consumers. A licensee must ensure that the advertisement does not contain any, anything that is not suitable for younger ones. It must not have any racist context. A licensee must ensure that a advertisement must be must not discredit any other product. That means, as an internet service provider, I must not say, "Oh, this service, net, this network is no good. Do not buy the network service." A, a licensee must ensure not to imitate any other service provider product. MCN uses everywhere you go. As an internet service provider, I must not use everywhere she goes. That is me imitating the MCN um, slogan. And this is to ensure not to mislead consumers into buying my own network, thinking that it is MCN network. A licensing must ensure that they must state the internet speed of the network service to the end users. The commission also has their own part to do. The commission must communicate to the, to the licensee within the seven days of receiving the application. The commission also has the right to terminate the application and must state the reason for terminating the application. Some of the, there are some of the sanctions that take when you don't follow the rule and the guideline is the first, withdraw, withdraw of approval. A, the commission can withdraw your approval if, for example, a consumer complains. If a consumer is complaining that, oh, this network service is bad, this is not good, the commission has the right to actually withdraw your approval. If there's a misrepresentation of fact, the, the commission can withdraw your approval. 
if in the in the internet you said the network service is five thousand naira and on the network on, to the consumer it is seven thousand naira that is misrepresentation of fact the commission has the right to actually withdraw your approval there's a saying that says customers are always right maybe the customer that reported you actually maybe there are some group of people that do not like you and because of this the um, commission actually withdrew your approval the you as a licensee you can make an appeal while making an appeal it must be written and it must be received by the commission within several working days after the decision has been sent to you the licensee will receive a five days within the licensee will receive within five working days the date of the hearing and at the hearing the like the complaint will be considered as new after the decision has been made after, after the decision that was made after five working days will be sent to the licensee other sanctions that can be seen in this um, if you don't follow the guideline is one million fine if you don't follow the guideline if you fail to register your approval with the consumer protection council within the specific time they can you will pay the fine of five million naira. If you fail to register your or to apply for your advertisement, you pay a fine of two million naira. It is important to note that at the withdrawal of your approval, all sales that you are doing is being cancelled and you can't make any one. With this conclusion, I with, with this, I hope that you can understand the steps that you can take before advertising your product. I hope for more information, please follow our website at www.lmsolicitors.com. And also for more, for, you can also follow our social media on LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram at Alice Solicitors. Thank you.